Get ready for some mind-blowing news. Scientists at the NIF just lit up the future with an epic breakthrough. They created an endless source of pure energy. In December 2022, their experiment sparked a thermonuclear fusion reaction that generated a whopping 54% more power than what was put into it. This is the same incredible process that's been keeping our star, the sun, shining bright for billions of years. Imagine if we could harness this power on Earth, no more oil or coal, and a huge step towards saving our planet from climate change. But hold up, in early 2022, another project was hot on their heels with its own revolutionary idea. Meet the Chinese experimental reactor dubbed the Artificial Sun. So how did they achieve this incredible feat? Scientists behind the Artificial Sun managed to keep the super-hot plasma, where thermonuclear fusion happens, stable for a record-breaking time. But what about creating conditions that mimic the extreme environment of our star, which reaches an astonishing 260 billion atmospheres of pressure? For perspective, diamonds form at a much lower 50, 5,000 atmospheres. To replicate this process, scientists needed to find a different way to make deuterium and tritium nuclei come together, releasing massive energy in the process awe. Since recreating solar pressures here on Earth is simply impossible, you won't believe what Chinese scientists came up with all. They tricked the system by blasting nuclear fuel to an Earth-shattering 100 million degrees Celsius. That's many times hotter than our sun. But how did they keep this fiery ball of plasma from destroying everything, including themselves? Enter a super strong magnetic field, which acts like an invisible shield, holding it all together. And what's even more mind-blowing? In January 2022, their EAST reactor successfully maintained these perfect conditions for a record, breaking 17 and a half minutes. That's huge progress, but we're still far from driving this car into the future. Right now, it's more like a one-time ignition that leaves us eager to see what's next. While the Chinese were hitting records at their EAST reactor, a massive global team made up of 30, five countries invested an incredible 20 billion euros. That's almost the entire NASA budget into building the ETR fusion reactor. And guess what? It's going to be a beast, way bigger and more powerful than anything we've seen so far. But here's the thing, despite all this progress, Chinese scientists are still yet to achieve that holy grail of energy production, making more energy than they consume. They're aiming for a demo nuclear fusion reactor by 2040. Meanwhile, in a game-changing twist, the recent breakthrough at NF has got American company Kelian Energy revving its engines. With just 100 million investment, their Trena reactor is set to produce pure energy through fusion as early as 2024 and the cherry on top. It'll do it using way less energy than it produces. You won't believe what NF just achieved during their experiment. They managed to generate a whopping 3 megajoules of energy while only spending 2. That's like running a marathon and beating your personal best time by one mile. But here's the catch, their super powerful laser, the largest in the world, is a total energy guzzler. It uses an astonishing 99% of its energy just to heat up those tiny fuel pellets. Now, don't get me wrong, this method has been a total game changer for the industry. But we're still far from making it commercially viable. To make nuclear fusion energy production massive and profitable, Companies need to figure out how to squeeze hundreds of times more energy out of that reaction. And it looks like Kelian Energy is onto something biggie. Their seventh generation Trena reactor might just hold the key. They're planning to use a powerful combo of Kelium 3 and Deuterium as fuel, and fingers crossed, this could be the breakthrough we've all been waiting for. Get ready for some mind blowing physics. Inside Kelian Energy's cutting edge reactor, the magic happens when two particles, Helium-3 and deuterium are blasted together by an ultra-powerful electromagnetic field in a vacuum. This creates plasma, a state of matter so hot it's almost otherworldly. The plasma rings then zoom towards each other at an insane speed of over 500,000 kilometers per hour. When they collide, the temperature skyrockets to a staggering 5.5 million degrees Celsius. That's way hotter than the core of our sun. In this intense process, new helium-4 atoms are formed, along with a massive amount of thermal energy. But here's the coolest part, Kelian Energy's seventh gen reactor is designed to repeat this thermonuclear fusion reaction several times per second, making it a game changer for clean and sustainable energy production. 
Now, let's talk about the benefits of Kelian Energy's innovative reactor design. While it's true that this latest model will be a bit bigger and more expensive to build, the end result is still a fusion powerhouse that beats the competition in terms of compactness, making it way more efficient for our planet. But here's the amazing part Kelian Energy isn't alone in this mission. According to the Fusion Industry Association, an astonishing 30, three companies worldwide are pushing the boundaries of nuclear fusion technology, securing almost billion in investment over just one year, and we're seeing serious government support too. The U.S. Department of Energy is backing 10 cutting-edge projects with grants up to 100,000 each. It's clear this is a game-changing moment for our planet's energy future. With safe and sustainable fusion power on the horizon, we can finally breathe easier knowing that our energy needs are in good hands. So, what's the deal with fossil fuels? For many of us living in cities, energy seems like magic that just comes out of sockets. But the truth is, 90% of it originates from coal, oil, and gas. Now when we burn these fuels, they release soot and teeny tiny particles into our air, which can sneak into our lungs and cause serious problems. We're talking about blood clots, strokes, and even heart attacks. The stats are staggering. Hundreds of thousands of people lose their lives every year because of pollution from fossil fuel burning. It's a harsh reality check that shows just how critical it is for us to switch to cleaner energy sources, like the game-changing fusion power we've been talking about. Here's some shocking data for you. Over a decade, a single coal-fired power plant spews out an astonishing 50, 5,000 tons of uranium and thorium impurities into the atmosphere. That's more radioactive material than all the spent nuclear fuel worldwide. Now, if burning coal seems like ancient technology to you, let's talk about kerosene lamps. Yes, you read that right, half a billion people still rely on them for lighting their homes. The numbers are mind-boggling. 70, 7 billion liters of kerosene are burned in these lamps each year, releasing smoke that poisons tens of thousands of people. And believe it or not, kerosene is considered relatively clean compared to firewood. Ikes, let's put things into perspective. While you're asking Alexa to heat up your toast, millions of people are still cooking on wood fires in their homes. And it's not just about food, these fires and the carbon monoxide they release claim around 3 million lives every year. Meanwhile, our atmosphere is seeing a steady rise in carbon dioxide emissions, which have increased by a whopping 50% over the past century. Now, you might be thinking that we've got this under control, but unfortunately, it's not just about finding alternative energy sources. It's also about changing our habits and making sustainable choices. And as for thermonuclear power plants being the solution, well, let's just say that's still a topic of ongoing debate and research. You're right to think we need solutions now, not 20 years down the line, who's counting down the days until they can charge their phone from a fusion energy socket. The truth is, we don't have that luxury. There's another contender vying for our attention harnessing the power of our star, the sun. In just one hour, it could provide us with our entire annual energy needs. But here's the catch, solar panels are pretty much useless when the skies are cloudy or it's dark outside. So what's the alternative? Can we find a way to tap into that boundless solar energy and make it work for us 20, Forg 7? You've seen those sprawling fields of solar panels. We'd need acres of them to generate enough energy to power our lives. But there's a problem with relying on batteries too. They eventually lose their oomph and stop working as efficiently. And what about wind turbines? They're super pricey to build, tough to maintain, and let's face it, not exactly bird friendly. Plus, if the winds aren't blowing, you might as well be trying to charge your phone with a tiny fan, it just won't cut it. So, are we stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to finding our next energy source? Here's a game changer. Harnessing the Earth's internal fire, literally. Geothermal power plants tap into our planet's hidden energy reserves, and the numbers are mind-boggling. Just 1% of the Earth's crust energy would be equivalent to five centuries worth of oil and gas. But, there's a catch. Drilling into seismically active zones can create new fault lines, increasing the risk of earthquakes. And here's the thing most alternative energy sources rely on Mother Nature being in the right mood, sunny, windy, or in this case, just right temperature-wise. Can we crack the code to making geothermal power a reliable game-changer? You might think we're stuck on our current path, but there's hope. And it's not all about nuclear fusion just yet. 
while that tech is still on the horizon, there's another way to unleash atomic power, splitting atoms instead of fusing them. This process, called nuclear energy or fission, can be surprisingly efficient and sustainable. The thing is, people often associate nuclear energy with disaster movies like Chernobyl or Fukushima. But what if we told you that's not the whole story? With proper safety measures in place, nuclear energy could play a vital role in our clean energy future. It's time to rethink the narrative around this underappreciated game changer. You've probably got that bottle of iodine pills from the what-if file L. But let's break free from fear-mongering and get real about nuclear power. Now, we know some of you might think fission is a winner when it comes to performance, but hold on tight, fusion's got this. A single kilogram of fusion fuel can produce FUR times more energy than its fission counterpart. That's a staggering difference. And here's the best part fusion fuel, made from deuterium and tritium, can be extracted right from our ocean waters. Talk about an endless supply. So, with better performance and virtually limitless fuel, it looks like fusion is the dark horse in this energy showdown. You're not buying what we're selling yet, no worries. Let's keep the debate going, after all, knowledge is power. So, while it's true that uranium isn't running out anytime soon and could fuel those power plants for centuries to come, fusion still holds its ground with virtually unlimited deuterium from seawater. That's a 2 to 1 scorecard so far. Now, when it comes to waste, we know thermonuclear power plants pack a 150-year danger zone. But nuclear energy isn't completely off the hook either, as its waste can stick around for an entire millennium. However, this is where things get interesting unlike fission's long-lasting waste. Some forms of nuclear waste can actually be reused in new fuel cycles. So, we've got fusion scoring another point with more sustainable waste management. But we're not out of the game yet, folks. All right. Let's switch gears and dive into the safety aspect. It's time to weigh in on who's got this round locked down. Fusion reactors are often touted for their fail-safe shutdown feature, kicking in at the first sign of trouble. But hold up, nuclear power plants have caught up with similar tech. So, we've got a tiebreaker on our hands. It all comes down to human error, which played a major part in those devastating past accidents. Both sides acknowledge this, and now it's time for us to move on to the benefits showdown. Let's tackle those elephant in the room issues fusion reactors come with a hefty price tag and a steep learning curve due to their mind-boggling complexity, making them prone to breakdowns. On the flip side, nuclear power has made significant strides in reducing costs and maintenance requirements, it's now a more affordable and low-maintenance option. And, let's not forget, existing nuclear infrastructure is already up and running a major plus. Meanwhile, we're looking at a 20-year wait for fusion to become a mainstream energy source. The countdown begins who'll reign supreme in the benefits round. So, will fusion's futuristic promise forever stay out of reach? Technical and financial hurdles are serious obstacles, making it a 20-year wait that might turn into a permanent delay. Here's where things get interesting. Nuclear energy currently leads the pack, while fusion is still in its development phase. But don't count us out just yet. The real potential for thermonuclear power lies beyond our planet. Think colonizing distant exoplanets orbiting other stars, where water sources would provide an endless supply of fuel for this artificial sun dream to become a reality. You're spot on. Right here, right now, our main priority should be to take care of what we already have 